Hi everyone, in this video we're going to graph a piecewise function using the TI-84 calculator. I'm going to go through the steps very, very slowly. So the first thing you do is you press the Y equals button. So Y equals. And this is where we're going to enter everything. So there's a couple ways to do this. We're going to do it using division. So here's how it works. First we'll type in X plus 1. Now I'm pretty sure you don't need parentheses around it, but I'm going to enter them anyways. On some calculators, on some models, you might need the parentheses. Then you put the division sign, then a parentheses, and now you need to enter x less than or equal to negative 3. So here's x. Now here's the tricky part. You have to find the less than or equal to. So you see this blue key here, it says test. It's right above the math key. So to access that, you first have to hit second. So second test. And we're looking for the less than or equal to key. So there it is in the bottom. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to hit enter. Alright, then we need negative 3. So the negative sign is down here on the right and then 3. All right, you don't want to mess up and hit the minus key. So I'll go ahead and hit enter now one time. So let's just check that. We have x plus 1 we did the division symbol x less than or equal to negative 3. We're almost there. The next one is 6. Then I'll put the division sign. Parentheses. Now this is a compound inequality. If you read it backwards, it says that x is bigger than negative 3 and x is less than 1. So we have to write it that way. So x bigger than negative 3. So x, let's go back to our test menu, so second math, and then it's going to be bigger than negative 3. Now you have to enter the word and, so back to the test menu, so second math. You want to go to logic now, okay, that's where the words are. And then there's the and, right, so and and now we have to enter x less than 1, so x, then go back to test, so second test, then down to 5. You have to go really slow. Um, I'm going slow only because I don't want to mess up, and it's really easy to mess up. So let me hit enter and then just double check that. Yep, that looks good. So, so now we have to go to the last one. So negative 2x plus 4, so parentheses negative 2x plus 4, parentheses, division sign, parentheses, x, then go back to the test menu, second, test, go down to greater than or equal to, and then 1, and then hit enter. Wow, we did it. So that was quite a bit of stuff to enter, right? You can go up here and you can scroll over to make sure that everything looks uh, okay. Yeah, everything looks good. And let me just go down here and check as well that everything looks uh, fine so you can see it. Okay, so now the moment of truth, right? We'll hit enter. And there is our beautiful piecewise function. So uh, that's how you graph a piecewise function. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it. Take care.